Simile is a real-time video avatar company that gives you the ability to add a talking face to AI voices. I've done videos on Simile in the past building voice agents with LiveKit and Pipecat. Today, I'm going to show you Simile's new Gaussian models they just released and how to easily add them to your website with very little programming effort. So we're on Simile's website now and one thing that I really do like about Simly is if we go to their pricing, we can just see that their cost per minute is so much more affordable than a lot of the other avatar providers out there. It just makes um, applications a lot more doable, and I really appreciate that. So let's close out of here, and let's try uh, one of their demos. So experience next-gen emotive faces with our Gaussian models. Try the live demo. Okay. So we have some of these characters. All right, let's just try, let's try the Sasquatch. Uh, we'll do angry. Well, hello there, small one. I am Sasquatch. <laughs> okay, uh, let's look at another one. Let's try like a cartoony one. Okay, uh, we'll do uh, happy. Oh, love, look at you. When was the last time you had a proper meal? You look like you've not eaten since Tuesday. Sit yourself down, go. <laughs> okay, so yeah, those are those are their demos. Um, you can see you could choose <laughs> you could choose a baby, um, you could choose a grandma, a gorilla, um, uh, cartoons, and realistic looking faces. But let's look at how we create our own and add them to a website. Uh, jump into the Simly Studio. So you can see these are my avatars and these were the defaults and this one I created uh, by just dropping in an image and you can see that each of them are a uh, legacy with these legacy tags so they're older models. So we want to create a newer one. Let's go to create avatar and here's where you can uh, just create your own by dropping in an image um, which is the one I showed you earlier but we'll just create one from a preset uh, we recognize all these faces. Let's do Cleopatra. All right, create avatar. Uh, confirm. Okay, agent created successfully. All right, cool. So here we can, okay, we're gonna make Cleopatra joyful and we're gonna have her say, hey there, are you from Egypt too. Um, so this is the first message she'll say uh, and then the system prompt this is where we can give her a personality, a background, things like that. We'll just leave it at default for now. Um, okay, a voice. Yeah, let's change your voice to... Uh, how about Claire? Okay, we'll select Claire right there and the GPT provide uh, for a mini will be fine let's save okay updated and now we have uh, we can go to widget and now all we have to do is well we could see a demo first so here's the widget and you can call it right now you can change the widget button right here um, and then you could also change where it where it lays out so now it's on the left side so wherever you want it on your website um, we'll just leave it there. Um, and then you copy this code. Just click copy. And this code snippet is now copied. And we'll go over to our website. And this is where we'll, we'll just copy it wherever. Um, so you just do this and copy and paste. You can see I already did it here. But I'm actually, this was an older one. I'm going to need to copy this agent ID. So let's copy just that part put this agent ID there save it and then we'll change the custom button to Cleopatra Cleopatra coming at you <laughs> okay and then yeah for Next.js uh, I imported this script and then replaced the one that they give us with uh, the Next.js version and then I also created this file uh, custom elements dot d dot ts um, this is just to play nice with typescript and so now if we run this yarn dev or whichever package manager you're using um, to 
start your local host and we go to my website localhost 3000 uh, we'll do a refresh and now we see Cleopatra coming at you alright let's call her hey there are you from Egypt too hey thanks for saying the greeting I wrote for you no I'm not from Egypt are you Hi there. I'm not from anywhere specific since I'm an AI. I don't have a physical location like people do. How can I assist you today? Yeah, okay. Well, so if we wanted to give her more, uh, like, you know, have her act like actually Cleopatra, we just jump into this um, here and change the system prompt to make her act more like Cleopatra and maybe like give her a better voice that matches Cleopatra, right? But it's as simple as that. You just copy the widget code, put it into your website, and boom, you got um, a, an AI talking avatar that can engage with your customers or visitors. Uh, yeah, so if you thought this was cool or you have any questions or you want to talk about conversational AI, um, leave a comment or jump in my Discord and we can chat it up there. Cool. See you.